everybody, John Costigan, I'm back. So I have a great story called the Tommy Hilfiger story. But the cool part about the story is it's really going to talk about a technique called Y times 3. One of the things I think that I always tell people is that people buy emotionally and they justify logically. It's like rule number one of sales. People buy emotionally, they justify logically. But one of the hardest things to do is to find out emotionally why they want to buy. And of course, when I say the whole Y times 3 part, you just can't go, you know, why? You know, why? Why? I mean, you can't, they're going to go, why are you an idiot, right? That doesn't make sense, right? So anyway, the Tommy Hilfiger story is a neat story of a client that we had trained. And um, I was working with the VP of sales, and the deal actually got ele elevated up to the president of the company, um, Dave. And so Dave actually gets on the phone with me, and he goes, hey, John, uh, nice to meet you. We start talking. And he goes, listen, and I could tell that we were on a phone call, and he said, hey, um, listen, I wouldn't be doing what's best for, uh, for my company if I didn't say, is this your best price? And I said, you know, Dave, I wouldn't be doing what's best for my company if I didn't kind of say, you know, good question, why'd you ask? And he goes, um, he goes well, John, I just want to make sure that, uh, I just want to make sure that I'm really doing what's best for my people. And again, folks, I'm on a phone call, and even though you kind of heard me do the, the technique of good question, why'd you ask, when I do why times three, I'm not saying why. There's different versions of why where you keep pulling back the onion to the point you finally get to the center. And saying good question, why'd you ask is kind of a, another way of saying why, 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 but you just don't say the words like that. You might go, hey, tell me more about that. Uh, hey, I'm a little lost here. As long as you keep, keep questioning, that's considered a why. So if you kind of did the concept of why three times, you'll finally get to the real reason. One of the things I tell people is that when you actually say why for the first time, you're usually going to get a logical answer. The next time you say it, you'll get another logical answer. And the third time, you'll probably start to get an emotional answer where they'll start to use feeling words. And remember, this is really important if we're going to try to make sure that we sell, we get them to buy emotionally. Remember, people buy emotionally, they justify logically, right? And there's, there's time, it takes time to do this. Time meaning not time to practice and get good at it. Yes, that's true, but there's a flow to the conversation where you, know, you just start off the conversation, you go, hi, how are you? How's that feel? I mean, I know I'm being facetious, but this isn't like you know, the Saturday Night Live skit that was on years ago where, you know, golly gee, because I just like me. No, that's not what we're doing, okay? It, it takes a flow to be able to do this. So back to our story. So Dave says, I wouldn't be doing what's best for my people if I didn't say, hey, is this your best price? And I said, hey, you know, Dave, I wouldn't be doing what's best for my people, my company, if I didn't say, good question, why'd you ask? And he, and so that was my first why. He goes, well, John, I just want to make sure I'm doing what's best for my folks. So I said, okay, so I just want to make sure I understand something. You're asking me about my price because you just want to do what's best for your people. And he goes, yeah, I go, good, you are. You're getting them trained. And it was, it was kind of quiet. And he goes, do you do this to everybody? And I kind of laughed. I go, well, Dave, I said, you know, Dave, I go, it's kind of like when my son Jack bought, you know, 20 bucks. He goes, Dad, can I borrow 20 dollars? Can I borrow 20 dollars? I go, 15 dollars. What do you need 10 dollars for? And of course, he's going like, well, that just got whacked in half. What happened there, right? But my point is, is that I said, and I said that to Dave. I said, you know, Dave, I said, you know, I told the Jackster, I said, so Dave, especially I'm your sales trainer. I said, you really think I would just start discounting your, my price just left and right? I go, I'm sure you wouldn't want your reps to do it. Why would you want the person training your reps to do it, right? He goes, hey, good point. But let me ask you, do you do barter? So after I kind of replied back, and that was kind of another version of explaining why I asked Stephen the question, um, this was my second why. And so he said, do you do barter? And of course, what do you think I said? I go, uh, well, Dave, you, you brought that up for a reason. Why? He goes, well, let me, let me kind of reference something, John. He goes, we've never, used a, uh, we've never used a company outside the garment industry. A lot of companies, they train companies like us, but you've never done this before. So we're probably a little bit leery of um, probably spending this much cash. Would you mind doing barter where we do half trade in um, terms of what, you know, Tommy Hilfiger products and then have cash, something of that nature. So long story short, yes, we put that whole deal together and we did that deal. But when he finally said that to me, I finally got to the real reason. When he said, hey, I'm a little bit leery of spending this much cash on a company that's never done anything in this business, right? So I just found the third why. Dave wanted to reduce his risk, probably didn't want to get egg on his face, but now I got it, right? So that's what the why times three technique is, is that it's certain ways of you saying why, why, why without saying why, why, why. But when you finally find out the real reason, now there's a part where I say as a rep, I'm like, ah, gotcha. Now I know why you're asking me this question. And at that point in time, I finally said, okay, Dave, if I can do something, half barter, half cash, if I can, you know, where do we go from here? How soon, how soon you want to move forward? He goes, oh, I'm going to sign the agreement today. So I even got confirmation from Dave before I ever even told him what I would do yet. I just said, if I could do this, where do we go? And he's like, well, I'll sign it today. So at the end of the day, I knew you saw a lot of lessons there in terms of, you know, 
good question, why'd you ask? And hey, what happens next? And you're gonna see a lot of these techniques, they all flow together. But the main focal point of this one was, why times three? If you can find out the real reason why somebody wants to do something, you got a much better chance of getting them to buy because people buy emotionally, they'll justify it logically. Talk to you soon, good selling. Hey everybody, John Costigan here. The toughest part to any sale is getting in the door, right? Tell you what, click on the URL below this video or go to costigantraining.com slash free week. Take the first step of solving this huge problem of getting in the door. It's five days, five clips, less than five minutes. Click on the link, we'll see you in a few seconds.